Welcome back folks to the VIA pinstriping page. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching. So today we're going to do a quick 15 minute design just to see uh, kind of what I can come up with. Single color. And we will be using the MAC Dragonfly Ted Turner brush. Uh, this is the number three. It is a fully synthetic hair brush which is um, not something I use very much, to be honest, but some folks absolutely love the brush. I just thought I'd mix it up a little bit. Um, normally, I like to use the Kafkas, which are a synthetic blend of squirrel hair and uh, synthetic hair. I can't remember the actual name of the synthetic hair that he uses, but um, anywho, let's see what happens in 15 minutes. So... I'm going to get started. We are using Alpha Enamel. Uh, I think this is Tidwell Orange. I did get this color before it got the name. So, let's see if we can do something as old school as possible. This is um, a cheap little board that I got, a uh, chalkboard panel that I got from Walmart. They come in sets of twos, and they're actually twice as big. I cut this one in half. And it's just something fun to paint on. It's a, it's a nice background. And uh, this brush is kind of bigger than you would expect it to be for a, being a number three. Uh, I kind of wish I had gotten the number one. Because it's more, I would imagine it's more towards the size that I am used to using. And I believe this uh, is more of a lettering and liner brush than it is a pinstriping brush but I've gotten used to uh, using this style of brush for pinstriping designs now I have no idea where I'm going with this I'm just trying to make as many lines as I can as fast as possible. I did pre-draw somewhat of a two, something like a two inch grid. I used a small um, dry or wet erase marker that I also got from Probably a drugstore or a convenience store or something cheap. So we're at the 12 minute mark. Now with pinstriping designs, from what I could tell, you always want to start in the middle and kind of work your way out. That's what I'm trying to do right here. Since I'm right-handed, I try to do the left line first, and then the right, right line. That way, I, there's less of a chance of me sticking my finger in the paint, which is always a problem. Especially once you start to get into the third, fourth, fifth, sixth color.
See, and that's one of the reasons I really like using the scroll style brushes for these designs, even for the old school designs, is I don't have to do a lot of thinking when I want to kick out a curve like that. Although, I will say, if you can master the sword brush, I would actually say that they're a little bit more versatile if you get really good with them. All right, 10 minutes. The thing you can do with a sword brush is pull a really nice, thin, crisp line. Where with these, it's a little harder to do that. These usually end up with more of a thick to thin situation. And you do have to work them a different way. You have to work on the very tip of the brush. All right, nine minutes. Try to set up the camera to where y'all can catch the whole action. I'll try to put a picture of the uh, finished product at the end of the video. I am doing a little bit of editing these days so y'all can sort of get a better effect of everything. When I first started doing YouTube, I, I didn't um, I didn't do any editing. Just to save time. Ooh, let's see. And everything's done on my phone, so I don't transfer anything to my computer. I work a few different jobs, so anything I can do to save time is... Is great. All right, now let's see. It goes down, up, and curves in. I messed up and did the right side first. Eight minutes. It's not bad for eight minutes. Mm, let's see here. Now I'm getting to the situation where I'm trying not to stick my head in the camera. Filming this stuff is sometimes extremely difficult. And it actually changes what I would do with the design just to not put my damn head in the camera. So keep that in mind. If you'll ever see me filming what I'm doing, uh, there's a good chance that what I was going to do originally probably changed because... Uh, Trying hard not to not to mess up the angle. Now once you get the initial design element, you try to um Try to add to it in ways that you would hope to. Oh, my cat's going crazy. Try to add ways that you would hope to sort of accentuate what you already have. And add to the, to the whole thing and try not to take away by adding more and more. But I'm giving myself 15 minutes to get something done, so. I'll do my best to make it nice. And I have five minutes left. So I'm just going to try to add some extras. 
couple of teardrop shapes and finishing touches. Hmm, let's see here. I always like these little horizontal lines in the middle of these open shapes kind of finishes them off nicely. You could do the same thing on these ones even though there's not a lot of gap there. Kind of gives it a nice end cap. Let's see what I can do. Turn this into an arrow. And I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it backwards so I don't stick my damn head in the camera. So, it seems to stop at that line. Four minutes. Want the little horizontal lines kind of and I just I just go parallel with the way that the arrow kind of is going. So it's going like this. I'm gonna make the line going the same route to follow the situation there. Three minutes. I think I can even, you can almost turn any line into an arrow, so I'm going to make these sort of an arrow shape. See, Just kind of run a line away from it and then meeting back with the original line. And then you can cut them inward with a meet up line, and inward with another meet up line, and we'll give it that little extra. extra you can even do them down here with these ones you could either put it in the middle low high however you think it works uh, keep in mind though if you don't like it and you want to erase it if you gotta if you're still rocking wet paint you know it's something you might want to think about before you go do them if it's dry paint, it's not a big deal. You could always wipe them off if you have time to wait. But they're nice, nice kind of finishing touches. And two minutes. Let's see if I could add my signature real fast. Uh, my t-shirts that I have for sale on my Etsy page are based off of my signature. Uh, the one with the design on it is actually a design that I did that was digitized and uh, created for my t-shirts by a man named Frank Sanchez, which is an absolutely amazing artist. So I don't think there's much more that can be done to that. We still have 1 minute and 32 seconds left. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, in the description below, there will be some links to Amazon. Uh, if you purchase anything through them links, I do get a small commission. And it's a great way to help uh, support the page, support the channel, uh, and help me keep the lights on. This is kind of just some crude paper here, to be honest. I don't even know if I can wipe the grids off. Um, if anybody wants this this design, I'll, I'll hold on to it for a couple of days. If anybody wants it, just let me know. Uh, shoot me 20 bucks. I'll, I'll give it to you. Free shipping.
that way I'm not just tossing them. I've been normally wiping them off and just tossing them, but folks get mad at me when I do that. <laughs> All right, folks, I'll give you a still shot at the end, um, and have a great day. Let me know what you think in the comments section.